straight from Winternam, a James Tyler Mongoose Retro. This is just a phenomenal guitar. It's, uh, it's a great example of Jim's work, and I've experienced his work for the last 25 years. In fact, um, I probably did most of my studio work in, in the 90s on a Tyler uh, Strat style guitar. Um, and uh, it served me well and still does. I still actually have several Tylers. And if I was called for a job right now, it certainly would be one of the guitars that I would grab in my arsenal. They're incredibly versatile, wonderfully made, and uh, just brilliant instruments. This particular guitar is very special. When Jim makes a guitar for Nam, um, he puts everything he has in it. He puts the best woods he has. He puts all the time and care it takes to to show off his his in, immense skills and uh, the quality of his work. This particular guitar has a spalted maple top, and it's really stunning. I, I'm sure you can see that. Um, Bird's eye maple neck and fingerboard. Uh, pickups are, uh, it's a mini hum and a tele style uh, bridge pickup, all of which are wound and created by Jim in his shop. The body is a uh, mahogany body, and Jim says it's, uh, it, it's semi hollow. I don't know how much of a semi-hollow it is, but it certainly helps create this tone that I love on this guitar, which, which is something I actually look for in every guitar, which is sort of a 3D quality. Um, this 3D quality, what I look for is that the guitar responds to your touch, so that if you play harder, the guitar gives you more, if you play softer, the guitar is all present, but it is, a, is, is more of a gentler kind of uh, tone delivery. The, uh, the guitar has a woodiness to the sound, acoustically and electrically, that you really experience if you're playing it like, I don't know, if, you, if I was playing like a, like a chord thing. <laughs> I feel the wood of this guitar, and I and I and I hope that it comes through on the uh, electrically as well. But it's all there, and 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 when I hit it harder, the guitar just responds uh, in a uh, in a real informative way. It it. it <laughs> So in, in that, and that was in the middle pick pickup position there, which sort of gets a little stratty kind of tone. <laughs> lots of snap, lots of uh, lots of expression. It's it's just one of those guitars that you could take on a gig or in the studio, and you don't need another guitar. It does it does everything. I mean, even if you.
it's it, it certainly holds distortion tones and really can uh, can go in the Gibson territory, which it's actually designed to do. It's like a very muscular Telecaster, but definitely um, uh, more refined. It's it's a beautifully made, beautifully expressed. Uh, example of Jim's work. It's it's a, just a great phenomenal guitar. So um, yeah, no, I don't know what to say more than than it's uh, worthy <laughs> of a great home and uh, and someone to love and enjoy it. It's uh, it's just killer.